So let me be real. There's some really bad chiropractors out there, just like there's really bad hairdressers, really bad lawyers, and really bad mechanics. So definitely some stuff going on. Good. Not the left. Come on the other side. There we go. That was clean. Drop it. There we go. Way to adjust. I like to finish the adjustment with it. Hey guys, Dr. Shoshani here. As you probably can already tell, I have been practicing for a little while. I've just come out of a cast a couple months ago. I still have wrist pain, so I'm not really seeing patients. So what I really want to do is be helpful in other ways. And one of the ways I thought about is helping you, the YouTube viewer out there, choose a chiropractor that's right for you. So can you get a hold of your chiropractor? Well, if it's a life-threatening emergency, obviously don't call your chiropractor, call 911. But if it's something that is related to the spine, like, hey doc, I woke up with a terrible stiff neck and it's a Sunday, I'm in Michigan, what do I do? Your patient should be able to reach out to you, the chiropractor, and say, hey, great, I have a friend in Michigan, go here, or put this ice pack on, or do this stretch. They should be accessible when you need it. Does your chiropractor only treat skeletal structures? Well, as a chiropractor, we always look to the spine for the root of all the problems, but there's a lot of muscles, joints, and ligaments outside of the spine. So when patients come in, we wanna look at not just their neck, where their neck complaint is, but their entire spine, uh, whether, they, whether they walk. We look at their ankles, we look at their knees, we look at their hips. If they're having neck pain, we wanna look at their wrists, elbows, shoulders. So it's not just skeletal, it's extra skeletal, it's full spine, it's muscular in nature. So next thing that I see often is when a chiropractor doesn't offer any ancillary services, I know I'm gonna get picked on by my profession because some chiropractors are straight chiropractors and they only do adjustments, they don't do anything else. Um, I, For me and my patients, I find ancillary services are beneficial. Some of the ancillary services I offer and I utilize in almost every single patient, cold laser therapy and hot laser therapy for inflammation is nothing better. We also incorporate soft tissue treatment. I especially like the Graston technique. I also like active release technique. That focuses on muscles. So we adjust the patient. The adjustment is the most important thing that a chiropractor offers, but when we look at addressing the soft tissue component of it, whether it's Graston technique or any of those myofascial techniques that we offer, results happen quicker. If your chiropractor is not offering it, maybe it's time to look for an upgrade. One other thing that I mentioned is a big part of my practice is spinal decompression, utilizing the DRX 9000. Uh, that is, the, in my opinion, the best decompression machine out there. There's other ones like the AccuSpina that are great machines as well. If you have a disc issue and you're getting adjusted, 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 and you're not getting the results you're looking for after a month's worth of care, two months worth of care, maybe it's time to look for somebody that offers decompression and these other ancillary services that complement what we're doing and the thing that differentiates us is every 30 days we reassess and that's why when patients come to the chiropractor i don't like endless treatment plan unless there's updates every 30 days to check in with the patient to find out if that trajectory of treatment is getting better sometimes it's linear patients get better and better sometimes it's up and down so we want to document this not just for uh, the purpose of documentation but also so the patient knows they're making progress Another thing I want to mention is, is your chiropractor using cutting edge technology? Things like uh, looking at the posture. I don't know if in my last video we did a video where we do a posture screen where we look at them from four different angles and we look at their posture because posture is the window to your spine. We also use things like x-rays and diagnostic ultrasounds. If you're seeing a chiropractor and he put you on a treatment plan of three months and you never even had an x-ray of your spine, I would start wondering what is the objective of the treatment plan? Is your chiropractor using things like tape? Kinesiology tape is something that a lot of physical therapists use and a lot of chiropractors use, and it, it helps complement the patient's treatment. So I have patients come in sometimes like, hey doc, my knee hurts, I'm a runner. We could put tape on them to help stabilize their knee and they feel better. Sometimes people come with acute lower back pain and the adjustment helped them tremendously, but they're still in pain, so we tape their back and it gives them that extra stability, that confidence that they could go back to their work, put a little biofreeze on it, which is another ancillary treatment, and they go on their way. Other thing I wanted to talk about is convenience. If your chiropractor isn't at least close enough to you where you're gonna be going on a somewhat consistent basis, you're probably only gonna go in 
a couple times and follow, not follow through with the care. The one thing about being in Manhattan, it's convenient to everyone. I'm located in NoHo, 636 Broadway, right near the 6 train. We're so close to a million trains, buses, it's really easy to get to Manhattan. So if somebody's in the New York metropolitan area, it's super convenient to get to. If you're driving three hours to see your chiropractor and you need to go twice a week for a couple weeks, you're probably not gonna stick with the treatment plan. So I, you know, find a chiropractor that meets all those criteria I said before and is convenient. If you need any help in finding a chiropractor, use me as your resource. I'm easy to get a hold of. Just message me below. Hey doc, do you know a chiropractor here? And I'll send you to someone. If I don't know them, I'll send you to the directory of someone that uh, hits almost all these bullet points. Someone that could look out for you and give you the best possible treatment that they know how. We'll see you in the next video. We're gonna be doing more chiropractic adjustments video as I get better and as I get back to seeing patients. Have a good one.